I've never. Yeah, that's uh, how mod you look. Huh, that's interesting. I can I can also change your auto mod says says thing. It doesn't auto mod people look bad, but I kind of don't mess with your settings. Yeah, you can mess with them. I have no idea what I did to them, anyways. You like you can do whatever you want. Just don't break things. Exactly. See, you know what I do. It's fine. It's fine. Gotta play this game. <laughs> I actually don't even remember what tags I had beforehand. I have the Vroid, the anime, and then the casual playthrough uh, tags on it. But I, I'm pretty sure Ghost One had another uh, thing on there. But I forgot what it was. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this game not WASD. Oh, wait, is this one controller as well? I knew the other one was too. Oh. oh, I can't. I can't change that for him, Gore. He's got to change that himself. His category, and it might be just chatting because this game might not have the category. Oh, Gore, uh, restart your stream real quick and then then tell me if it fixed it because I should have uh, changed it. No, it says inside on my end. Oh, it does. I had to refresh my mod view. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Ye. My mod view. And Scrubby hasn't told me I'm a good girl today. What? I did. I want to hear you say it publicly. Messi is a good girl. She's bestest girl. Yay! <laughs> wow, did you even notice that I called you good girl? Damn. You know, as a mod, you have the control to clip things that I say. Well, I tried to do it on my phone, and then the phone actually just deleted the clip and it posted. it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I gave up doing anything at work on my phone when it uh, comes to modding. This is one of those games that requires the controller. Ah, fuck. Okay. Holy. Well, time for controller instead then. Gore, what you doing? What you doing, Gore? Okay. Talk to us, Gore. I mean. Try and find I'm, someone I'm my, someone age, my own age. These but young these young ones keep on having me not fond of getting called daddy. I mean, Scrubby isn't either, but I'm still calling that. He just has to learn to accept it. Yeah, that should make me have to accept it. Me. Hey. Yes. He's also only one year older than me, so I mean, like... <laughs> mm, might be more than a year. <laughs> like a no. year and a half. It's not even a year and a half. You're only, like... Just, look, you're the ninth month on the 12th month. They're three months apart. Aren't you 25? No. 26? I don't know why I was thinking you're 25. Because there's a joke that me and Andre don't age past 25. Ah, uh, you keep <laughs> fucking with me with that! <laughs> God damn it! That's what keeps getting me! <laughs> Fuck! You literally know the year I was born. Why are you doubting this? It's been a while since I remembered the year. I know the day, but I don't remember the year. <laughs> I'm, I'm I expect on my birthday I'm going to get this very long, cute post I'm going to wake up to. Of course. Like, I'm expecting you to do some long, cute posts for mine. Yeah, just like when you're here in person in August again, you're getting your present, and we're going to post it live. Oh, my gosh. I still have no idea how I'm going to react to that. People's going to see your present, and they're going to be like, that, that bitch is spoiled. I'll be like, yes, he is. This bitch is spoiled, though. Who the fuck mm -hmm. are these Also, people? you should be having snacks come in today. <gasps> this, the first, the, 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 uh, those snacks? The good snacks? Those snacks. Oh, <laughs> yo, hell yeah. yeah I, I, I fucking snacked on candy all day today because the day was fucking stressful as hell. Well, see, I got you a good box, Mr. It's Too Fattening. Guess what? You needed it, so shut up. It was really fucking fattening, that big box you gave me. <laughs> that box is going to last till the day I move. Well, I mean, and now you're going to have some fruit bars. Now, the fruit bars might survive a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. They're actually really teeny, so probably less than that. They're supposed to be teeny bars. Oh, they're tiny? Oh, that's what it said. Oh. Well, Gord, they're like 100% fruit, too. There's like nothing in it mashed. Especially just fruit compressed into a bar. Oh. It's like completely fruit. Like, if you read it, it says there's only two ingredients, and there's always two fruit mixed together. I think one was like mango and apple or something. Hmm. I like or mango. strawberry mango or something. Yeah, like one of the flavors was mango. Oh, that mm. box ain't going to survive a day. God damn it. Mine. Mine? Wait, why do? Why will I say mine? Cause you're gonna be like, you're gonna see that fruit box, you can go. <gasps> you have a little child moment. I mean, 
Isn't that something I do casually? Uh, yeah. But... Also, my dog just farted, and I regret that. Oh, fuck. These lights are going to get me right now. Oh, they see me. No. Bad doggy bed. Bad doggy bed. I run. Oh, shit. Okay, so. I had a bad experience when I came to bad doggy farts with Luca. Back when I gave him lamb. Anything, any dog food with lamb in it just makes his farts extra stinky. I changed their dog food back to that other brand today, remember? Was it because their farts were too stinky? Well, no, it's because the bag, I told you, is the same recipe as the bag I've been buying, but it's like $20 cheaper. Ah, oh, uh, keep an eye to make sure there's no sweet potato on your uh, dog food right now. There's been studies showing that that's the reason why a lot of dogs have been having heart issues. I thought it was because of the wheat. You know, I thought so like, too. So oh, no, my vet literally has just told me this. Oh, um, I don't know what flavor they got, but I don't think it's sweet potato. It's a four health brand. It's actually the bre the one the breeder wanted me to put the dogs on, and I put them on the other one. Oh. I put them on the one that do the breeder actually recommends for them. See. Which my breeder also says I cannot give my dog lambs, by the way, because Hathi's family has a history of being allergic to lamb. So I've never oh. given her anything with lamb in it. Okay. See, I've but, been... Yeah. I'm going to need to give Luca the fish meal type stuff, because the chicken one I found out has sweet potato. And I've been learning from my vet that uh, sweet potato gives heart problems to dogs. Or recent studies have been giving heart problems to dogs, and they've been thinking it's because of sweet potatoes. I think um, theirs has oh, fuck. salmon and rice. Chasey, 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 chase. I will also say, though, that... Get away from that, um... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. There's more. He has a gun. Fuck. Oh, no. I got shot. I saw. How the fuck am I supposed to get away from this? Do I hold still here? Nope, he catches me here. Uh, did he just fucking choke me? Holy shit. Yep. He really wanted to choke you like he hates you. Choke me like you hate me, but you love me. But, um... No, yeah, we were one by Hulk uh, and Breeder, no land. Uh, damn, I Oh! He's fucking drowning me. Holy shit. So you don't have to worry about Luca with lamb. There's no lamb in the house. Okay. No stinky boys then. All these sparks are enough to clear the room. <laughs> I don't need two dogs doing that. You big girl. Damn it. I got shot. Oh, don't look at me like I just offended you because I countered your sister. <sighs> Damn. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Is there something I'm supposed to react to? I'm supposed to get in that little thing and hide? Uh, I thought so too, but I got shot in the process of doing that. So. Fuck. So I get shot the second I reach that point. Mm. What are my controls, real quick? Oh, there's, it's literally just this. What the fuck? So I'm supposed to just grab something. Okay. Alright. I see you. I don't know. But, you know, me having every oh, week enough. I'm just supposed to be patient. But yeah, weekends off is actually gonna give us a lot of uh, long times. Oh, guns! Well, no, it also means my D and D sessions go to that day every week instead of it being every other. Wait, we're gonna do it every Saturday then? With uh. I mean, it's it's an open possibility now. So I'm sorry. Mm. Like the whole group wanted to do it because it's like, because I know that was part of the reason why I had my D and D sessions wasn't doing every week because I physically couldn't do it. Because I told her, I was like, look, I could do it every week. It's just, you know, I'd be at work and I may not respond. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but having it be that it's only the weekends we have time to do things. Do you want to do it to be D&D &D every Saturday? Or do you want it to be, like, back and forth with stuff, though? I 
on that. I think Grim actually has other sessions on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I meant more cruels. Ah, for cruel session? So, like, one session Grim's, the other one cruels? Is Cruel able to push his session from Thursday to Saturday? No, I meant Cruel's every Thursday. I don't know if the whole group can do that. Ah. I thought you were, that makes more sense. I thought you were talking about Saturdays instead of Thursdays. That then I have sense. that group with Skashi and Pandy who's two, every other Tuesday. That could go to every Tuesday now. But that also depends on the DM getting his house. But that also depends on the schedule thing working out. That is true. But I'd have to tell both Cruel in that session I cannot stay past him. Like, we can't be pulling that shit where we go to like 3 a.m. Yeah. Like, you guys have to actually... Well, not 3 a.m., midnight. But that's also... Skashi... That was also before Skashi also had his set alarm. <laughs> I was saying, like, two members now have to be out by midnight. Me and Skashi would have to dip. And that's what I was telling Skashi and DMs while we were, y'all were singing. Yeah. Ah, that's why you were disconnected. No, what actually, is... I actually just go out to potty. Cause she, she had to poop, so instead of just going out to poop, she was... Having to keep drinking a lot of water, trying to hold it, which made her have to pee a lot. Uh, He's being a dork. Okay. Could figure it out. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. She's fine now, though. She's sleeping heavy. Mama, I did it. Mama, I did the thing. No, I tired. So, I stress. I tired. So what you're saying is now your schedule is like mine. We're gonna have all nighter Fridays, deep sleep Saturdays, and then back to work Sundays. Monday. Oh, you mean back to work schedule Sunday? Okay. Yes, Sunday nights. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I've been doing that schedule for a while. This also means if I really want to, I could actually stream every day. Yes, you should do that. No. Well, not every day. You should do it like maybe three, four days a week. The only reason I haven't <laughs> been doing that is because I've been in BC with you. Yes, but now... Yes, I understand. I know what you're going to say. Yes, it is bothersome. But there are some pluses to it. Although, would have been better to be able to do those pluses when we were two living together. I'm just saying, like, with how late you would stream, I wouldn't even get to tell you, hey, during your stream, because I'd have to be in bed and you'd yell at me if I did. Yes, I will get on your ass about it. I know, hon. I'm sorry, but, like, I'm gonna and make sure... you can sure. even watch my streams because it'd be when you're at work. Yeah, it's a pain. You know, this is supposed to be easier, not hard. Huh? Not supposed to be what? It's a, this long distance you think would be easier, not harder. No, I know long distance is going to be hard. Just got harder though. Because my manager went from, hey, I want to move to day shift eventually, to we're doing it within like two weeks. Yeah. It's, it's a shame, but, you know, what can you do? It's going to be a very shitty long distance, but once we're actually living together, it's going to make things even better. Mm -hmm. Like, I've already told you, it's going to be hard, but the end result's going to be the best. What am I supposed to do here? Would those balls kill you? No, they just kind of follow me around. Must have something to do with me over here. I feel like whatever is being pushed. Wait, is that being pushed? Mm -hmm. I'm actually looking at how these call pads. I got distracted. I'm wondering if I should cut them. Like her fur between her <gasps> toes are so long. I don't know how she's touching the ground with her toes. Mm -hmm. But I'm also like, if I touch her paws with scissors, she's gonna kick me. <laughs> So you're saying <laughs> the only way she, you're going to actually cut her toes is if I'm there to hold her down. 
or take her to a professional groomer, but the groomer already said they don't like cutting her because she gets dizzy when she gets scared. Once again, it's got to be centered on me having to hold her down. Yeah, come hold her. I know, honey. Please. You know I would. You know, the commander's saying the abort's full. How rude. Who the, wait, when did he say this? I'm aborting the child, and you were like, don't you hurt my child. I was going to say, that was my kid. Don't you fucking dare. I remember having a say of saying that he was my kid because I was trying to say they were your, they were his kid, and I was like, no, 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 no. I got very Andre at that point. <laughs> You're like, no, they're mine. Excuse me. For me. Excuse me. Those Billy are my told kids. Me in a voice call this morning, and it was so cute, and she looked at you. Oh yeah, that's right. He was crying. He was crying because uh, Scully was uh, being loud while he was singing. It scared him. He wasn't expecting a dog. Well, suck to suck. I mean, Skull had a shit, but she was too scared to go by herself, so she kept screaming at me. Skull's not well trained when it comes to going to the bathroom in general. No, she's like her separation. Oh, her bad her. piggy! You better get killed. That's a bore. Oh, I t I literally have to jump over it. This motherfucker! Let's go, bitch. Oh, I know what I gotta do. My time has come. Oh shit! My time has come. Come over here. Let's go, motherfucker! What are you hitting over here today? What? <laughs> What's your problem? You hit your head? Oh no, poor baby. <laughs> There's no way around this. Uh, you can't go up there? Nope. Can I grab this knocked out pig, though? <gasps> I can. Come here, bitch. Yo, he just shat on me. Bitch, get over here. You think you could just lie there with your maggoty ass? Did you see that? I pulled the fucking maggot out of his ass. <laughs> Wait, that's a fucking... Huh? What? Ex fucking excuse me? What the fuck is this game? Holy shit. Have a happy lurk, Gore. Happy that Gore. You're finding out how separation anxiety skull is. It's very high, by the way. What the? She's very attached to her mother. She is very much so. Oh, oh, I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. So I gotta. Yo, what up, motherfuckers? What if they do this? Why do I feel like people are going to become sons of bitches if I just leave them be? I'm going to leave you guys over there. Don't want to see y'all activate and be all shitheads. I feel like they're going to do that later on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> This game actually makes me miss Little Nightmares. I actually really like Little Nightmares 1 and 2. Something something about its art. Its art just really got me. It's kind of like a, an extra creepy version of Nightmare Before Christmas. I will say the saddest thing is, Gold knows the most commands, like hand size and verbal, but she's the worst at potty training and Hottie's the best at it. Yeah, and Hopti's the worst at train at like other work trainings. Yes, you see, sometimes I have to tap her to make her understand what I want. Which is funny because Luca's actually pretty well potty trained. He can last a good while before needing to go pee. Skull will pee on herself before she holds it for twelve hours. She'll just go ahead and just pee in her kennel, lay in it. Yeah, I noticed. That's why I don't do that to her. She's very fucking stubborn. Yes! She also had some very bad... <laughs> from the things you've told me from her upbringing, they were not the best trainings. Oh. She never unlearned the bell training. You can tell because she goes to the door and wait. 
She does. It's time, mother. Yeah. I think the best thing was when she opened the door to the bedroom and just walked in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you were just looking at me like, what the fuck did she do? She fucking walked, she fucking walked herself in. Holy shit. And then was, she was so proud of herself and you were just looking at me like, what? Like, ma'am, you're, what the fuck? And then Hati just melts under the bed like a little freaking cat. I still have no idea how that big ass dog melted under that tiny ass crevice. <laughs> it was like watching liquid for him. It was. That was fluid dog. That was not dog. That dog became fluid at that moment in time. <laughs> and she did it so fast. He was trying to chase and catch her. She just disappeared. I was. Like, just holy shit. That's so funny because he just looked at me and he was like, I didn't get her. But he didn't say nothing. His mouth was just slightly open and he looked at me in the most shocked expression of his life. Because she became fluid. <laughs> she was no longer dog. She was liquid doggle. And she did that to him multiple times throughout his whole stay here. Like she'd run to the counter, the little coffee table in the room and just dive under it. Yeah, Without that's like even first... slowing down. That was just the first two days though. After that, I like learned to grab her. <laughs> Took me two days, yes, but you know, she learned to accept my grabs. You mean she accept it till you let go and then go hide in her kennel, and you were like, "I'm not getting her out of her kennel. She might bite." No, I think I probably would still do it. Mm. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, Hopti's a cutie. They're both cuties. Right? Yes, they're cute. Yeah. Mm. It says we have four active lives. Oh, you got a good boy redeemed. Uh, the good boy to, uh, Boomy? If it's the good boy to Boomy, I already did it. Uh, I've already cleared it out. Ah, uh, okay. Is that a new good boy? But, yeah, I cleared it out. I, I, I go through your thing every now and then and, and tell the um, thing that you did all the redeems that were requested for the day. Oh, I thought there was a new one after all that. No, it just shows me all the activity that people's done. Like, I can see the people who's rated you weeks ago if I were the check. Mm-hmm. I don't really get much activity in my streams, but, uh... Mm -hmm. It's what happens when I'm being inconsistent. Mm hmm I should probably set up a, screen, a stream schedule at some point, but... I feel like I'm not going to actually properly have a schedule until I move over there. So I've been dealing... I've been just making it heavy casual. Oh! Damn, I thought I could land it. Like, I'm scared for when you're over here because you're going to make me. Three... I snapped my neck. Oh, fuck. Wait, why are you scared of that? I'll be there going like, I want a lazy day. You're like, no, you're streaming. Ah! Yeah. Oh, I got squished by the safe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Am I supposed to? Oh. Oh. Well, there's a hole on the floor. I'm gonna... Not be a dumbass. Oh, what you look at that? I'm not gonna work myself down there and get married down that hole. Without hurting myself. Look at that! What are you? I see a shiny. Huh? What? What? Uh, left behind? What the hell? That's an explosive. I made the explosive not go boom. This is probably one of those extra quiet games too, so this is probably not even showing up in my stream. Let me just do this, do this. There we go. Now this has up here in my stream. Is it? 
Oh, it's gotta be one of those. Yeah. Activate the brain, people. Oh, they're opposing movements. That is interesting. Okay, what am I doing here? What am I grabbing? What am I supposed to do here? Mm -hmm. Wait. That closes that. There's two of them. Can't do shit over here just yet. Yeah. Assumption I got here. <gasps> oh, two switches. Ah, that makes sense. There were two squares on the floor. I forgot to make them stand on. I mean, we're two switches, but I don't think that helps you. You know, you right. You right. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a dork. I'm not a dork. What's wrong being a dork? I keep getting called a dork. Well, that's because I am one. I'm one, too. You know that. <coughs> it's not my fault. I'm having you realize what you truly are. Wow. See, if we were watching Breaking Bad together, we could be nerding out. Uh, you mean you would be nerding out? <laughs> Leave me alone, just that, because I reckon. That show has been triggering your inner chemist, and it has been adorable to watch. The saddest part is I tell you things, and the show explains it like five minutes later, and I'm like, oh no. I know, it's been funny. <laughs> oh no. It's been great, though. There's a lot of things that they haven't done that you've had these big, like, moments, though. Like the fly episode. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, yes, because like that's a thing. No, no, you don't do that. No, no. I, I didn't know that was a thing. Most people don't. That's what I'm saying. Like, unless you're in that field, but after I explained it, you're like, you know, this makes the thing make a lot more sense. It also explains why Jesse became so uh, anal against the scientists later on, because I really like that scene. Yes, because he was doing what Walter White taught him that is GMP. You follow general um, manufacturing practices. Yes, but Jesse doesn't know about GMP. No, he doesn't. He just knows what Walt told him. And Walt came from a GMP background with the first, the first company that he was forced to quit from. Before he became a teacher. Before he was forced All of it became a teacher. Although, he had a second lab that he joined after leaving Grey Matter. You have to remember. I don't know what caused him to lose that job. Probably his fucking temper. Probably. Like... His temper isn't something new. He's had it the whole time. It's just with Skyler, he became more docile and gave up on things. I think it's more the fact that he's that he gave up on everything and then dated Skyler. And Skyler got used to him being docile, and then his rage finally came back when he found that he had cancer. I feel like he had too many. He had so many losses before the show even started, with Gray Matter and the second company, and the second job probably wore him down as well. And then he also had the love of his life, he lost her. He had what? The girl that he loved first. Oh. Um, yeah, that short moment of romance with her gave, uh... That short romance he showed about him with her in one episode showed a lot more with him than him and Skylar have been the entire series. I think he really loved her and he was happiest with her, but he lost that. And he blames... Yeah, her family because he can't accept the fact that it's how he acted and it's not because he doesn't have old money. Yeah. The annoying, the biggest thing too is like, did you ever see the hints that showed why he broke up with her? Uh, wasn't it something stupid over what something the dad did? Um, his dad's from a posh family while, um, Walter himself was not. And because Walter was from a not rich family, the dad was being very judgmental. And that judgment is what caused the problem. Oh. 
All I had to do was just. Walter became oversensitive because of it, and because the dad was just mental, he didn't grow from money. He got a temper tantrum that caused him to run off on the girl that he loved. Lily was just pride. His pride took the better of him and then ruined his relationship. It's like, a really big thing that I like about Breaking Bad is the fact that Walter White is supposed to be a center of uh, Dr. Jekyll becoming uh, Mr. Hyde. But the way Do Walter White is written is that, mis is that uh, Mr. Hyde was always there before Dr. Jekyll in the first place. He was always both of them. Uh. What the fuck? Oh no. I got a camera on me. Well, I mean, everyone knew that he was always on um, hide. You can see that with the way he acted with his ex. Do you mean the tantrum he threw on his ex after uh, when he found out his cancer and started becoming a attempted drug lord? No, it's about back when um he was um dating the rich one. Uh, what do you mean? That was definitely more hide than it was. Like his tantrum. Oh, when he ran away from his uh, girlfriend. Oh no, I turned yes. around. Shit. Fuck. Oh, you got dragged. Like, damn. They grabbed you by the throat and dragged your ass out. They really did. Holy shit. Was it your wildest dreams? Nah. You're the one that keeps saying you want to jump me up. You want to tie me up. Wait, wait, what the hell was the first thing he said? Drop me out. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. I was trying to say tie me up. Oh. I mean, I would love to tie you up. Camera's staring me down so hard. When it blinks really fast, I think it's like he might not be real. I think it's it's us. Uh, those blinkies. <laughs> Bad doggy. <sighs> oh shit! Bad doggy's following me. Oh no! Bad doggy! Bad doggy! Bad doggy! Bad doggy! No! Shit! I shouldn't have stopped. <gasps> he broke my fucking neck. Oh uh, yeah, that's what attack dogs do. Ha! That's a bad doggy. Hmm. Scrubby. Come here. Come this way. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do for this? Holy this shit. Here we were talking about the mind of Walter White, and now we're gonna deal with a attack doggy that's gonna come after my ass. <laughs> okay, so I have to do something to get away from this dog before he comes at me. <laughs>
dog doesn't show up yet. Can I trigger the dog to attack these people over here? Nope, it doesn't. Oh, he gets me good too. Oh my god. Oh god, he just slammed you into the wall like, bitch, please. He really fucking did? Holy shit. I can't outrun it. I know I have to do something with this and that. I know I need to take this crowd with me. Do I have to just... Is there a way to, like, book it while getting away from the dog? Because that timing is really pinpoint if this is the case. Okay, let's see. Dog, 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 dog. No, 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 no. Yeah, there's no way I can reset. I can reset from there. I gotta do something then. Do I have to pick up something over here? Is there something I can pick up to even get the dog's attention? Okay, what if I do this? Oh, 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 oh! Let's fucking go! Bitch! Bitch! Look at this! I'm away from you, little doggy! Look at you, motherfucker! Holy fuck! I figured it out! I got mm -hmm. it! I got it! Oh, something's gonna happen. I need to take the box over there. But let's see what I have to do over here first. Am I? Oh. Huh? Something over there, but I still have to deal with this over here. So... I get it. You? Yeah. Put the box up back where it was. I think there's a switch. No, you gotta get back on there. Get the guy to stop on the other box thing. Cause then you need to pull it through there. So start over here? Mm-hmm. Cause that box isn't movable. We'll let you get back up to the brain. about the crowd before in the prior area. Be that, messy smart. That makes more sense. Yes, messy do be smart. Messy good girl. Mm-hmm. Messy do be good girl. There you go. Now you can go through. Yes, that makes sense. Look at me. I'm moonwalking. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop through here for something. But what's happening over here first? Oh. So something's forcing me to have to stop over here. Don't know what it is yet, but if I fall, do I die? I do die. That's my legs and spine breaking. There's a there's a brain thing here. Wait a second. Go over here, yeah. I do over here first. I'll be right back. I gotta go use the back. Alright, I have the keys.
Okay. I now get to hold multiple of these guys. That is, uh, that's interesting. Skydiving. Ah! There's gonna be a bad fishy over here. I already know it. No bad fishies. Oh, I can't reach up there. So even if there is a bad fishy, I'm gonna be in danger. But yes, Walter White always had a Mr. Hyde in him, but uh, something happened during the flashback and his cancer that caused him to break down and uh, be the guy that we saw in the first few episodes. I don't know if it's just the fact that he lost everything. Uh, also the fact, you know, he had a kid that he had to take care of that was very disabled. Mm. And he, that is a big strain on people, despite... He Yes, but I feel like he broke before that. I feel like it took- it was that moment where he started, um... It's when he got that second job in the other lab, and then met Skylar. It was somewhere before meeting Skylar and getting that other job that caused him to break down. Because at the point that he met Skylar, he was already destroyed. Like, he didn't even have the confidence to talk to Skylar. You remember when they talked about how they met? It was Skylar that started talking to him. Uh, it could also just be that he, like, mentally killed himself after realizing, you know, they took the, every work I did, made money off of it, and I basically can barely afford to feed myself. Oh, it could have been that point when he left for a month's rent. When he left to, when he left the company for a month's worth of rent, and then the next month after, they became a multi-million-dollar company. Mm -hmm. That could have been what broke him. I mean, that would break me if I spent my life work. Yeah, and then someone makes millions of dollars out of your own work. Yeah. And then no one cares you did it because, well, as I say, you left. Well, uh... As you've seen from my company, we may have some shitty um, things they do, but, like, I, I, well, they pay. I was gonna say something, though, like, um... <laughs> It's like, um... Uh, now I feel mean saying it out loud. <laughs> it's that thing of doing all the work and someone else taking all the credit just because someone else signed it in the end. Oh, that thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I talked to the boss about it and it wasn't just me. It was like, the whole day shift was saying that they saw what was going on my shift and they didn't want to be on that shift. Yeah. But it's, and she said, I'm... Um, yeah. It's just that whole thing where it's like... It will get noticed. Yeah. Because... Of the things I've explained to you. Yeah. I'm happy to know that things are working out. I was told by the manager that... The team lead should be the strongest person on the shift. Yes. While you yourself make a really good representation of a leader, because you actually know how to lead. Here's the thing, though. With me there, covering, they can't prove he's not. Yes, but now that you're not going to be there to cover her, him. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm All those questions he have in the middle of the night that I have to answer that he doesn't know the answers to, is going to come. Yes, yeah, could come bite him in the ass, which is going to be great. You're gonna be like, oh, in the Yes, hearing the end results of what happens to them after, to that team afterwards, is gonna be music to my fucking ears. It it won't be to me because I I, I actually broke down and cried to her because I love that team. 
Like when it was me, Mario, and Anise, I may have complained about it, but... Yes, but that's when it was you, Mario, and Anise. It's, the second it stopped being you, Mario, and Anise, it stopped being yeah. your team. Here's the thing I will tell you. I... Never needed three people on my team. When it was just me and Rio, we could carry that shift. It may have gotten busy. There may have been some days we came home and could barely move. But... We could handle the lab at its busiest time, which is too early. You, you need to understand, though. That's something centered between you, Rio, and Anise. But it wasn't you, Rio, and Anise. It was you and Rio. The second it stopped being you and Rio, it stopped being the team. The team was you and Rio. It wasn't the other yeah, we person. Were we were we were together for three years. That's really hard not to. Yes, but you're trying to say it's centered on the team, but the team was you and Rio. The second Rio left, it stopped being that team. Yeah, it's like, like I told other people to trust me and Rio had like it was like we didn't have to verbally say when something was wrong. It was like I could look at him, he could look at me, and it'd be like an expression. Yes, but that was a comfort center between the two of you. The team was you too. There was no other people. There was you too. And so, the second your team member left you, like, that's when things changed. I mean, I tried to give the guy a fair chance. You did. You gave him a very fair chance. You gave them, how many weeks now? A month? To do better? Yeah. Well, there's their month. They have no, there's no, there's no room for excuses anymore. That was a month's time to prove themselves, and they didn't prove shit. What am I supposed to do over here? All it did was make me leave a department I've been in since I've been in that company, and I love that department. Uh, it, it wasn't a department that you enjoyed. It was the person you were working with. And then the second that people changed to something that you weren't as into, well, you know. Unfortunately, no, it became less fun, less enjoyable. That's the thing. Me and the other guy, we have similar interests. It's not like I couldn't mingle with him. Uh, there's a difference between personal and professional. That person had a personal connection that was fun for conversations, but when it came to a professional sense, they were fucking garbage. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Your old, your prior team or teammate that you were well capable of making a team with, they were able to do both. This one was only able to do half of that. They were only able to do the social part, form of it. The problem is, for things like that, you require both. You require someone that's both a team member and a social connection. And that's the only way those time frames worked. So, I understand that you have that uh, connection to where you found someone that perfectly matched those criteria to make that time frame work very well. But the second you lost that person, it made those things even harder because you found out that, well, not everyone... You got really fucking lucky to get someone that actually made it work well. Yeah. The funny thing is, I'll go... To, if I do do that thing, I'll go to days and I'll work with him again for like a few weeks and then he'll go to second shift in the third. Oh, he's doing thirds. On an eight hour, so he'll be there from like midnight to 8 a.m. So I'll see him maybe a little bit each day. Okay. Well, there you go. You get to still reconnect with uh, one of your former co workers. Mm hmm. I know you're trying to make that sound like a loss, but in comparison to the situation that you're in now, your current situation means you're not going to see him at all. This new situation means you're going to see him more often. Or have the chance. A chance but is better than no chance. Oh, it's a taser gun. It, oh, shit, you did. I got tased. <laughs> but if I did stay on the night shift, I'd eventually be working nights when he's at nights. But, like, that'd still be, like, a... So he's going to move in the shift that's also with the night shift? Yeah, but it's only an eight hour and it's Monday through Friday. His is literally. Uh, but the thing is... Yeah. I am very confused yeah. when you're going with that. But... 
basically this team is going to be doing a rotation of three out three different shifts for eight hours instead of the two for twelve so. Yeah, he's going to do like more like a hospital. We're going to have to talk about that more specifically later on because that uh, doesn't make sense to me that the 8 hour shift does 3 shifts while your 12 hour does only 2. Because 3 times 8 is 24. And 2 times 12 is 24. <laughs> you like that makes more sense now. So you do twelve do you do two twelve hour shifts over his three eight hour shifts? Yes, yeah, so there's three different teams. We have only two teams for IBC that rotate, if you think about it. I don't like know. That doesn't. The way I've been learning how your rotations work, I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, I know. Just, I know the nine to five. Oh shit, danger light. Oh, fuck. Okay, sorry. So, I understand the 9 to 5. I understand the 4 to 12. And then the uh, 7 to 7. Mm-hmm. So, okay. It's literally just a typical nurse shift if nothing goes wrong. Where instead of doing the 12, so do like eight hours, then the next nurse comes in this eight hours, then the, another eight for another nurse, and then that's a whole day. Well, it's more like two 12s and an eight. But. Well, no. Oh. Fuck that gallery from that. I'm not gonna question it. You got lucky. You got really fucking lucky. It's fine. Uh, we'll explain later. But yes, there's the... Well, so there's two 12-hour shifts and then three 8-hour shifts. I'll explain it later. I get that's the 7-7 seven to seven and the other 7-7. Seven seven. Between the... 9 to 5, the 4 to 12, the 12 to 8? Yes. But that's a whole, uh, there's, that 12 to 8, 9 to 5 is the, in between that doesn't make sense to me. No, because. It's not 9 I, to 5 then, it's going to be 8 to 4. Yeah, that's, I'm not in that department either. So you're in some hidden 9 to 5 department? Yes, that's, that's what I was trying to explain to you this morning. But I, I said we'll talk about that off stream. Okay. Something's really swinging now. Mm. This game center has a lot on patience, it seems to me. Oh, I almost got the water. A big. I feel like once I hit the water, something's gonna happen. Water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do me something. <laughs> something interesting. Nope, that's just the first I can go. Huh? Yeah. Oh, that was it. Didn't even need to swing. Well, there we go. But yes, I'm not used to uh, basic time zone style jobs. I've only recently gotten into that stuff. For the prior, before my two years here in uh, where I live at now, I was centered on more of the time zone centered for the needs of the people I take care of. So the people I took care of uh, required certain hours, I would take care of that. But I've never had like the basic time zone type jobs. That kind of stuff seems very foreign to me. Oh, danger! Oh, no, no, no. See, like, my mom's job at the um, other place is more complicated to me because they swing. That means they go, some weeks they work nights, some weeks they work days. And the halfway through the middle of the week, sometimes they'll switch from day to night. I'm like, what the fuck? 
And with one day in between, too, not even, like, three days off to adjust, it's, like, one day. Like, you might work nights, then you get that day off, and then the next day you gotta be on days. And you're working 12s doing it. Fuck. Wait, I actually have my old timesheets. Do I have my old timesheets? Shit, my old timesheets were fucking scary. <laughs> I told you, there was a time where I had no weekends or, like, days off. Um, it very, my timesheet was always centered on the needs of the individuals I took care of. And it was really stressful just because I never had a set schedule. Or my set schedule mm -hmm. wasn't centered on a... Each day's day is different. So I didn't have a day, I didn't have a schedule set up to where I need to wake up, I need to go to bed at this time to wake up at this time so I can go to work at this time. It was, I have to wake up early this day, I can wake up late this day, but then wake up early the next day. And it just, it wasn't even back and forth like that. There was like two days I had to wake up early, one day I can wake up late, and then another day I can wake up less as early, but still early. It was weird. It was really annoying. Okay, get dog over here. Swimmy dog, swimmies. <gasps> Doggy does swimmies. Oh fuck. Um, do you want to see the overlay Han's been working on for me? Uh, when the dog doesn't choke me to death. Hmm. Look at him go. That is one committed dog. <gasps> he went deep. He went deep. No bad doggy. Holy shit, that dog went deeper than I thought he was going to. Run, 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 run. Bad doggy's gonna come after ya, boy. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. There's more than one! Oh shit. Goodbye. Gremlin. Oh. I was a greedy gremlin. Bad Cheeks. <laughs> Holy fuck. <sighs> also, I... chat hi if you're there. Hello. Uh, Greetings. <laughs> chat if you're there, say hi. felt that last one in my cheeks. There was a tingling sensation. I was not happy with it. Wait, there's a danger boy. That's mm -hmm. mine. Okay, I made the right decision not to jump out just yet. I also made the right decision not to sip my drink because that was nothing but whiskey right there. I did not pour a cola yet.
Don't forget to check your DMs. Cool. Yes. Sorry. Thank you. Oh man, was such a slow reader? A slow reader? I'm really slow at reading. I'm talking. I'm in for the debut slide. I didn't care about you reading the other thing right now. <gasps> you sent me a thing yet? I was supposed to read that. No, the debut slide. I want commentary bonus. It. Mm. It's because Han's working on it now. If I need to change something, I'd rather ask now so we can go and get it done. Are you gonna be in the bottom right corner? This? Yes, where the fire is. And I'm guessing the bigger square is where you're going to put your slideshow. Well, I'm going to pull the info, yeah. Hmm. For your style of setting it up, it's very fitting. Mm. Yeah, because I know I'm going very weird for my style for my debut. Or re -debut. I still haven't shared you, um, I haven't done my edits yet, but I'll uh, share it to you when I actually get them done. Because I know what I want to do with it, I just haven't done it yet because I've been distracted. And want to use a certain thing for it. Wait, oh, this is going to be danger. Oh, I didn't break my legs. Wait, do I get to use a submarine? <gasps> Yo! Submarine adventure. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like the second I hit something, I'm doomed? Uh, I'm about to do something I'm terrified of. Uh, what? Opening OBS to see if I can get the capture card to load. Uh, is it just OBS or is Streamlab OBS also causing that issue? It's not working at all, typically. It freezes up whenever I even try this one. That is very strange. Mm hmm. I just told it to go through the properties video capture device and it's froze up OBS again. That is very strange. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. now. There's a cannonball function. There's gonna be a big fish. I'm calling it. I'm going deep. There's gonna be a big fish. Who am I gonna ram into? It's gonna be too big to ram, isn't it? Oh, I will go zoomies right fucking now. There's a crack. I wonder if I go too deep, I'll actually hit something. I kinda wanna try that. Let's see. fish oh there's just the a floor uh, I was hoping there was gonna be a danger fish or something
<laughs> wow, it's not even midnight in my end. That is surprising. Shiny reactive. Uh, the only change I asked was to make the character's name and the word debut pop more because the chat's fine as is, but so it's not so like small. The chat portion? No, the where it says Mezzle's debut. This is kind of small. Are right, you trying to make it bigger? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. You like make sense? Makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> Although I do get hungry. You still have leftover pizza? Yeah. Leftover pizza time? Mm. Maybe. Hati, you keep feeling so bad. I'm taking you to the bed, I swear to God. <laughs> Because too stinky? Yes! Is she that stinky? Yes! <laughs> oh. And the worst part is, is she likes to lay right under me when she sleeps and you know that so it's like I just get a big whiff. She really does. She hangs really close to you. Which is funny because when she's awake she won't come near me. That's not true though either though. When she's sleepy, she gets the closest she's ever gets to me. That's because I'm too busy grabbing her. Wait, no, the entire time mm -hmm. I was with you, the, she was always really close to you. That's because she was very scared of me, though. Like, if I laid on the floor, she, like, instantly gets really close to me. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I mean, you saw it on camera. Like, I laid on the floor, and she, like, basically climbed on top of me. Yeah. She checks on mama. Good, you go take care of business because you stink. <laughs> well, Let's fucking go, Shamu! Be a good boy! Smackers. Oh, that didn't do shit. I do like the part that we're in now in Breaking Bad, where uh, Gus is starting to show himself being much more redeemable of a character. Or at least they're trying to write him that way. Wait mm -hmm. a second, I can jump off of this? Was I able to do that this whole time? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Am I supposed to slip? Am I supposed to slip through the cracks? Oh, are we gonna watch more Breaking Bad tonight, or just stream all night? Um, the thing is, I don't know how long this game is. Is the issue? Um. Oh, am I supposed to slip through this? I feel like I was supposed to slip through this. Oh, I have to be overwater to get out of it. I... It's a three hour and thirty two minute on average. I'm kinda of past that point. Okay, so the sub can't go through this. 
Wait, how long have you already played this game? I'm about an hour into Minton. I'm sure if you watch a playthrough, it'll show where I'm at from where the game is. for an hour? Damn, it felt longer. Maybe it's because a part of me is still- OH SHIT! I just got fucking smushed. <laughs> so I gotta push the button and run like hell. Got it. I push- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Wait, did I die? Oh, I jumped into a wall. That makes sense. Do I can pull this up? Can I pull you up? No? Okay. So I'm supposed to jump into the water, but. Uh, oh shit, it's pushed the button. But 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 barrel 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 but 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 barrel I feel like I've been doing a pretty good time in this game, though. I've been enjoying this type of games, or these types of games, where it's just like horror platformers, really cool aesthetics. Mm-hmm. They were fun. I still think Little Nightmares 1 is my favorite, though. I totally missed my jump there. <laughs> that was poorly timed. So I something I jump out up there. Okay, back up I go. Ah, uh, no! Shit. God damn it. I feel like even with the debut setup, though, you should find a way to link your stuff, though, as well. Or at least link your Twitter. 
What do you mean? On your overlay? Big issue is the fact that you have yourself uh, set up as sorted on your socials, but you call yourself Mezzle on your overlay. I think there's gonna be a point where you're gonna have to commit on one or the other for being your main name. Like, um... Now you're gonna have to make your primary personality be known as one or the other. And change the others to be one of them. Those motherfuckers just took back my sub. That was my sub. How dare they take my sub away? Can I backtrack? I cannot. Ah, shit. Well. <laughs> these, are, these sons of bitches. Did you manage to see how far I was from the end of the game at all? Or... I just was like, we're just alone for the ride at this point. Oh. Yes. I, I I actually did ask to see how far I was from the end of the game since you said it was three hours long. Mm -hmm. uh, proper gameplay is about two hours long. How far am I? Midpoint. Okay, I haven't reached that. Run away from that. The point where I'm thinking about these side. Oh! Wait, what? Okay, look at the game through it. Play through it. Wow, this is You're play. about I'm about the 30, 40 minute point of the game. It took me an hour eighteen to reach the thirty minute point. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a way while I'm getting chased by the sun? Open the door. Oh, this is a speedrun strat. Oh, there's no one actually in it. Yeah, you're like 40 minutes in. For most gameplays I see of it. That's interesting. Hmm. No, yeah. So, I have another hour or so that I could still eh, do later. Okay, I guess I'll end the stream here then. In Breaking Bad? Yes. <laughs> yes, honey. We can finish this season! <laughs> You're such a dork. You love me. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, Fuga's oh. playing solo. <laughs> Moon and Marnie was trying to talk me into playing solo the other day. Oh, see, when they were saying that, I thought they meant they just wanted to watch you play solo. I didn't think they meant, like, an actual game called solo. It's the game that, uh, Wolfie was getting really into. I keep forgetting that's his initial. 
it, it, it's the same game. That's why I've been saying. I was confused. Uh, and Wolfie will get along very well. I'm a I was Ichiroku, though, because Ichiroku is cool. Ichiroku oh. made one of my uh, BGMs. Oh. Yes. Yes. Where's the raid message? Uh, I'm just going to do the usual scrub raid. Scrub raid, exclamation point, drop the emote of... Yeah, I'll do the little hard one. Do that, and then copy, and then paste, 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 paste. Burp. That one. Alright, hope you guys enjoy yourself. Thanks guys for watching, and until next time, hasta luego! Haha! <laughs> I barely managed to press copy.